Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to Season 5, Episode 4. And that's 10. That's 4. Of The Expanse. Um, in the previous episode we were left on a massive cliffhanger with something hitting Earth, basically. And it was really... Like, I remember the visual effects were so cool. I really, really liked it. Um, but other than that, before that happened, like, a lot of other stuff was going on. So we had, um, we had, um, Naomi, um, meeting with her son finally after all this time. And him not responding very well at all. So I'm very interested to see where that goes. Um, we have drama finding out about Ashford's death. And not taking that very well either. We had sort of more intrigue between Alex and um, Alex and Bobby doing their research, and Alex went out with that woman that was kind of there's they're kind of there's a little bit of cat and mouse going on between those two groups of people, and then finally um, we had um, Christian. She's trying to dig up whatever is going on and uh, she warned that something bad might be about to happen and it looks like she was right um, pretty much that's kind of where we were at and uh, we're going to find out what, what exactly has hit and what exactly has happened so uh, here's episode 4 of The Expense in the ship that was scheduled to pick her up there's a mirror, it's still inbound Oh, uh, they're going to find the people that were going for Monica as well. I forgot about that. We'll take them and the ship. This poor guy. Who is Nadine Nicole? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Somewhere along the way, they're going to meet up with a black marketer and do a deal. I put money on it. You know, always believe, believe Bobby. Now I find out it's all for a bunch of crooks. Oh, I doubt they were when you served, if that makes you feel any better. I'm just mm -hmm. fucking nonchalant about all this. She's, because she's resigned to it, she's switched off from it all now. I used to have a rat. And then a few hours after that, I was just tired. No matter how traumatic the loss is, you only have so much emotional stamina. That is true. I was tired of being sad and I had to do something. It wasn't going to help the right, not really. She's such a pragmatist, isn't she? But it helps me. Yes. So she's saying he's grieving? In the same way that she was for that rat? Yes, increasing the breaking back. What does that mean? There's been no explanation from the US. It sounds big. It is unclear whether this is related to today's explosion on the Martian Parliament, which happened almost simultaneously. Oh my god. That is some deep terrorism. That is not good if they've done Mars and Earth at the same time. Is this where Amos is going? For your own safety, you're required to follow the directives of any guard, corrections officer, or prison employee without hesitation or question. If you fail to comply, any guard, corrections officer, or prison employee oh! is authorized to use any means necessary. So that's how he's going to go and see. Do you understand the consent to these conditions? Her sure. from the... Oh, my yes. God. I have forgotten her name, but that woman that I just okay, looked okay. up, who was in the credits, that's who he's going to see. Too, sir. Civilians aren't usually permitted down here. you got friends in high places. The very highest... Oh, it's not her. We call a volunteer. He could get his mods removed, but he won't. He doesn't care if he stays down here. That's nice. Yeah, well... What kind of mods? Like, muscles? Sure. Is that what it is? It is her. Interesting, they've got men and women together. You don't get that really in the, okay. in the world any, at the moment. Put their slot in the door. Half hour walk around the yard. Therapy once a week. These four walls. Wow, look how small that is. Breathe in. Uh, are you 
you're supposed to be doing that. People like us. The things we do. What is it? Lockdown. Oh my Why? god, something's gonna happen. She's gonna get out or something. Something's gonna happen here. Oh my god, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Shut the fuck up and listen to me. It wasn't a rogue asteroid strike, it was an attack. An attack! The second rock just hit Earth. Oh my god. What? Fleet Command recommends that we head to Luna immediately until they can better assess exactly. Luna. Nancy, the planet's under attack. And I'm not abandoning it. What the hell's going on with the Astro Slaughters? The Planetary Defense Command says it's possible the entire system. That's the kind of thing Avasarala would have done, not leave. Not even one of them will pick up. They're just ignoring them! Our whole goddamn staff. I know who I fucking called. You've had for years with my house. I know who I fucking called! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Recast the watchtowers and the sentinels. Just do it. Good. Thank you. Listen to us. That's all that matters. I prefer to think of it as best of you. I'll bet you do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Killed too. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What the What the fuck is that? What's it doing? Lucky breaks this season to still be alive. What the hell do you want from me? Nothing. But someone else does. Who? What? Yeah, but Marco. But oh, that's where it was. She's dead. She's dead. Don't. What are you doing? Don't shoot near that proto molecule. It's, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. They've got it. She's dead though, right? Oh my word. Keep her, don't kill her. We need to know more. Did do everything you could, and no one would listen. If it could have been stopped, don't me. Well, I just. It just gave me chills. Like, so many moments gave me chills so far, and. We 
don't even know if everyone's out of the woods. We don't know about Amos. Stopping anymore. Oh my god, I've gone really silent because I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what's what twist is gonna come next. The future of the world has begun. Oh my god. Beloved, on our son's hands, just like you did to me. He did not make me do anything. I was proud to do my part. God, that is devastating. One hit would have been a triumph. Two proved our tactical brilliance. But after three, the inners will never perceive us as weak again. You were wrong to leave us. You a psycho in the head. Gonna send, name, yeah, I'm gonna send the claim out the his man, victory. The Any transgressions by the Inners and the Free Navy will not hesitate to unleash the proto molecule on either planet. We recognize the right of Earth and Mars to exist, but the ah! sovereignty ends at their respective atmospheres. In joy and glorious resolve, this day is ours. Tomorrow. Is ours. The future of humanity is ours. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. That was the best episode of the expanse mm. uh, but I was like I'm umming and ahhing about saying the best episode ever or the best episode since home but either way it was a solid 10 out of 10 really amazing piece of work And I didn't see it coming, really. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I should have, because there was obviously the cliffhanger at the end of episode three, but I didn't see quite the amount of action that happened in this episode happening. That really was a... It blindsided me, to be honest. Um, so we lost Nancy Gao... in really not very nice circumstances and she redeemed herself very well in the last couple of scenes she had she um you know she thanked Avasarala for what she did she said she may have saved millions but uh, i mean she said that in seconds before she died and we lost Fred Johnson, which is massive. Like, he's been in it since season one. Um, and that took me uh, by surprise massively. I did not see that coming with what's her name, the girl behind him getting him. I, I don't know what her name is, but that came completely out of the blue for me. I had no idea. Um, like, that whole scene when that robot came and like took the, mo the proto molecule, I was like, what is it doing? How's it getting in there? Why is there a robot going in there? And then I realized what it was doing, and I was like, oh my god. Of course, that makes total sense. She's still alive though, that girl, right? So maybe she has some information that will be of use to them, I don't know. 
But then that final uh, couple of scenes with Marco and Philip and Naomi, but particularly Marco's big speech at the end, for like, it's really interesting, isn't it? Because in the previous seasons, they've done a really good job of making you have sympathy for different people for different reasons, like belters, inners, Martians, Earth people, and seeing that none of the groups are perfect and none of them are flawless. But that was that was the work of someone that is totally unhinged and has gone too far and doesn't see what they're doing. Like, you couldn't be on his side on this one. Like, um... He just killed millions of people. Like, millions. And it was horrible. And it really upset me at one point. When you saw the explosion, when it was in Nancy's plane, and... And, I mean, there's obvious comparisons, right, to to 9-11 and what happened there for me because there was for me the comparison comes from the fact that most people thought that the first one was an accident and then when the second one hits you're like oh this moment of realization even though we knew it wasn't an accident really like most of the characters in the program thought it was an accident and then or just bad luck and then suddenly out of the blue another one hits and it's like, oh, this isn't an accident. This is, this is, this is war. This is someone declaring war on us. And when 9-11 was absolutely devastating, of course, with thousands and thousands of people dying, um, this is millions. And it's maybe where we are in a few hundred years' time. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's how devastating an act of war can be. You know, the biggest act of war uh, in our lifetimes, well, not our lifetimes, but in in, in history, is, is the uh, nuclear bombs of the Second World War. Rightly or wrongly, I mean wrongly, really, hundreds of thousands of people were killed, many of whom were entirely innocent. And that I just, I still when I look back at history and what happened and Hiroshima and all the rest of it, I, I just, I, I can't, I can't, I can't get my head around it. And I understand that there's reasons. And I understand that there's, that in war, like sometimes you have to have collateral damage, but for it to be as many people as, there were when those bombs hit. I just remember being like, I, when I first realised that that was something that had actually happened in history, I was a child, obviously, and I was, I, I kind of couldn't get my head around the fact that that was a real thing, that that had happened. And I imagine it's probably like that a little bit for young children today. You know, I teach and I always find it amazing that 9-11 happened before lots of them were, well, most of them were born. All of them were born now. And when you tell them about what it was like on the day of 9-11, they can't really relate to it because we've never had anything like that since. And then watching that reminded me of it, just the disaster after disaster. But then, of yeah, it just accumulated. And then things happened that you didn't expect. Like the, you know, the the theft of the proto molecule, which just I didn't. I mean, obviously that happened. It was all orchestrated, and I just yeah. Oh man. So they intentionally kidnapped her, and then they. Th I'm thinking back to the whole plot with Monica and what happened there. And I need to get my head around what happened there, but I, I feel like it was all 
so it was all a, it was all to put them off the scent of what they were really doing, which was trying to steal the proto molecule. So they put like the head of security in that carrier thing. And it got them out of the way, which gave the rebels the chance to shoot Fred. I think that's what happened. I need to get that bit back in my head. Uh, and I really, really hope that Avasarala's husband's all right. Oh, God! Amos! Oh my god, I forgot all about that. Oh my god, that episode blew me away. That was so good. I don't even know what to say now. I think I've, I've said enough. Oh, guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, then please do comment, like and subscribe. If you love the video, then please sign up to my Patreon. Um, I mean, I'm not going to blow my own trumpet here, but... If I were you, I would sign up for my Patreon to get the full length reaction because uh, there's probably a lot of reaction in this one. Uh, <laughs> God. I do want to go and watch episode 5 now, but oh, it's really late. I don't know what to do. Oh, that's a decision for me to make. You don't need to worry about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.